What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Madden 19 and we are going to be going over sets and power-ups and stuff like that. So let's hop into this. We'll take a look at the sets. Uh, also have two unopened packs here, so we're going to open up our Team Elite Fantasy Pack and our three times loyalty. But I don't know how I got any loyalty rewards, but we got uh, three times loyalty reward bundle. I don't know what that means, but... Oh my gosh, this is actually like elite players. Okay, Jimmy Graham, Zach Brown, Demarcus Lawrence, Brandon Cooks, Glover. Qu oh, I got. Do I gotta take Brandon Cooks? What's that? That eighty-seven speed. I might have to take me the Brandon Cooks. If they had a center, I would probably take the center, but they don't, so I'm gonna take the Brandon Cooks. Do I really just get this many free elites? Oh boy, another Demarcus Lawrence. Oh, oh look, it's the exact same cards. Uh, I do need a middle linebacker, so I'll probably take Zach Brown. What is he compared to? I guess we're using... Oh yeah, oh yeah, give me Zach Brown. Why? Why are they the same elites? This is really dumb if you get more than five. Like if someone, because it's called loyalty, so I assume somebody out there is getting more to five. Okay, we just fan through these. Um, it's probably got to be Demarcus Lawrence. I don't, I don't actually have a left. Oh, I have Leonard Williams as my left end, so yeah, I guess it's got to be Demarcus Lawrence. Yep, let's go ahead and take him. And then we have this elite T or this the team elite fantasy pack, whatever it's called. Okay, so this is just literally an elite from any team. I'm gonna fan through this really quick, and then we'll go through it. We're taking Julio. I just saw Julio. We're taking Julio. Jordan Howard, AJ Green, Lashawn McCoy, Von Miller, Miles Garrett, Mike Evans, David Johnson, Joey Bosa, Kareem Hunt. Andrew Luck, Sean Lee, Devontae Parker, Carson Wentz, Julio Jones, Jimmy Garoppolo, Landon Collins, Leonard Fournette, Leonard Williams, Matt Stafford, Aaron Rodgers, Luke Keekley, Gronk, Cooper, Todd Gurley, CJ Mosley, Josh Norman, Michael Thomas, Russell Wilson, Le'Veon Bell, Marcus Mariota, Harrison Smith, and Deshaun Watson. So we're going to take Julio, because I want Julio. Alright, so we acquired some new elites. I'll throw them in the team. I will have a team update coming soon before I go ahead and sell all these guys when the game releases on Tuesday. But let's take a look at the sets. So we have the campaign set. So the campaign exchange just gives you a random gold. It was all the stuff we played in the uh, solo challenge video that I did. Uh, that We're going to be continuing. We're going to do the full campaign. Um, but we have the four campaigns, so you get a... 87 overall campaign hero, Big Ben, LaShawn McCoy, Zach Ertz, Edelman, or Golden Tate. I'm almost for sure going to take the LaShawn McCoy and then sell all of the halfbacks that I pulled. And then here's the one for the defense. You get Joey Bosa, Deion Jones, Telvin Smith, Marcus Peters, or Cam Chancellor. Somewhere between probably taking Telvin Smith. I'll probably take Telvin Smith, but Cam Chancellor is an option that I might take. Uh, exchange... Uh, we have the player exchange, so I can't look at the team items because not level 10 yet, but this is just exchange gold players for the different, like, stupid stadiums and coaches and playbooks and all that different stuff. Uh, this is to turn in for a higher uh, player. I bet I actually could do this to get an 84 to 85. Well, I could turn in the non-tradable elites that I got. Um... Does this make is it sellable? That's actually a consideration. I mean, they essentially gave you do you want 383s or do you want an 84 to 85? It's kind of interesting. Um It's all for that. The core rookie we'll get into in a second. So here are mutt tokens. So trade in players to earn tokens. So 10 silver, 10 gold, 4 elites for so those are the gold, silver, and elite tokens. Players and player rewards, so flashbacks. Trade in your mutt tokens to unlock flashback player. 
heavyweights, trade in your mutt tokens for heavyweight, veterans, and then playbooks, wheel of coins, and wheel of training. What do you need for this? One gold and three silvers. It's not bad. One gold, three silvers for the wheel of coins. Might do the wheel of coins a couple of times. I mean, that's actually a lot of stuff to trade in. What is that? That's 10 golds and 40 silvers. Um, let's see, for a flashback, what do you need? One elite, two golds, four silvers. That's actually pretty darn cheap. Uh, we'll take a look at the flashbacks and heavyweights that have been posted along with the veterans. Um, I might actually do one of those for fun. I, I don't know. Classic uniforms. They have the... Okay, really? You, you don't have the powder blue chargers and you don't have the, the powder blue rams. Like, I'm out. Like, who wants those Eagles uniforms? Those things are so ugly. They look like the generic crap that you get on MLB The Show. Alright, so Series 1... So, Series 1 Master David Johnson, and a T Series 1 Master David Johnson, so you can get the David Johnson and never be able to sell it for half of the, what are these, head-to-head? -head? I don't know. These, the head-to-head -head trophies? I don't even know what those are for. Uh, non-tradable elite offensive player, non-tradable elite def defensive, 82 to 85 overall elite, 86 to 89 overall elite, the Madden coach. More alternative uniforms, still no Rams or Chargers, so I don't care. <laughs> Legends, look at these. So we got Randy Moss, Champ Bailey, Steve Young, Lorenzo Neal, Steve Hutchinson, Willie Rofe, Bruce Smith, Ted Hendricks, Derek Brooks, Sean Taylor. So if you go into these, so like this 88 Sean Taylor, actually a reasonable price they've gone up a little bit but they're pretty reasonable on the front of the fact that probably the best cars of the game 89 randy moss you could see you know it's pricey it's not like free or anything but uh it's it's gonna go these things are gonna go up once the game comes out champ champ see 89 overall champ is only 160k that's what i'm talking about if i can get 160k i will in fact buy champ I don't think I'm gonna get 160k by the time the game comes, or by the time the game comes out. But who knows? Maybe I will. Uh, nobody else here really interests me. I want Sean Taylor, Bailey, and Moss. Other than that, I don't really care about the legends all that much. Team Diamond. So we'll check the Mutt loyalty. So first of all, we have these. Use your Mutt loyalty tokens to earn a pack that lets you choose. You need a lot of these. Uh, the Quick Sell Pack is probably what I would do. I just used one loyalty token for the quick sell pack because even like the elite player packs, you get like an 80. At least let me risk my luck trying to get 100k coins. Team diamonds. I can't actually look at these yet, but I'm assuming you just you just put in. You, so you add. Uh, I bet you need. Let's see here. So I think you just put in pretty much all the base golds and elites for the team diamonds. And you can complete all of these. We'll go through and name all the players. So we've got Adrian Amos, Gino Atkins, Tredavious White, Chris Harris, Jarvis Landry, Gerald McCoy, Larry Fitz, Melvin Gordon, Travis Kelsey, Jabal Sheard, Travis Frederick, Rashad Jones, Lane Johnson, Julio, Ruben Foster, OBJ, Jalen Ramsey, Avery Williamson, Stafford, Bakhtiari, Greg Olson, Brady, Kalechi Assembly, Ndamukong Sue, Marshall Yanda, Ryan Kerrigan, Cameron Jordan, Earl Thomas, Le'Veon Bell, Jadavian Clowney, Delaney Walker, Xavier Rhodes, and Team Diamond Master, Ronnie Lott, 94 overall. Three team chemistries and two defensive scheme chemistry slots. So that is pretty insane. Uh, probably won't be completing these. I might, if if I'm feeling frisky, try to complete the Julio, or maybe the Jalen Ramsey. But other than that, there's not really ones. Tredavious White might be cheap because he's 88, so I, I might consider the Tredavious White. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anyone else here that I would care about. No, like I care about. I, I'd like Brady, but I don't really care that much to spend a million coins on getting Tom Brady. Uh, so that's all that for the sets. The gauntlet unlocks at level 20. I'm level 7, so clearly we're not unlocking that. Um, I think that's all for that. Let's talk about power-ups now. So if you go in here, 
and you go to uh, program power ups you can actually get some decently good overall players for just the training now I'm not sure I don't want to do too much of the power ups until I exactly know how training is gonna work and whatnot but this Devin McCourty I've already upgraded to an 82 overall uh, not spending that many training as you can see we unlocked all these trainings I think I spent like 80 trainings or something like that and now I just need his core elite card to power it up to an 85 overall uh, which I will probably do but 82 is good enough for my team right now for the Randy Moss you get a little bit more pricey but I could get him to an 85 pretty easily and then all we'd have to do is get the item at the end and we could power him all the way up to a 92. Um, the 400 and the 825 I actually could get. So I could actually get him to an 89 and then I would just need his 91 overall legend to power him up to 92. So he'd just be stuck at a 90, 89 for me. Uh, let's see. So all of these go for a decent amount. So we'll look at this Tremaine Johnson. They all go for like 4k, uh, so I'd assume they'd all go for close to 10k when the game comes out. I might look and try to buy some of the players that I want, but like Khalil Mack, you can see they all go for roughly 4k, but uh, I would assume when the game comes out they'll spike because of what I'm thinking. I forgot to show the core rookies, but uh, that's how it works with power-ups. Um, just simply, you can see here, I'll do it with the Jasmine Trufant. So if I invested 4, 9... 18, 23, 33, 73, 78. I could get an 80. If I if I invest 148 tier trainings here, I could have it. I could have an 82 overall Desmond Trufant, and you can even see the stat increases that it gets. So he gets 86 speed if you get him to 88 overall. Um, and it goes up slightly, like he starts out at a 77, so you do want to, if you're going to use these, I think you want to get them to the 82 or 85, depending on what you want to do with them, um, just because, uh, the speed and some of the core stats that you really need, I don't know, yeah, see, this is annoying, so man's 83, 85, 86, 85, yeah, see, or 88, it goes way up on that, um, to the different things. So we got like 79, 81, it goes all the way up to 83, 85. So the power-ups, they really come into effect the higher you get up. They matter the most. Let's go take a look at the core rookies because I forgot to show that one. And then we'll call it an episode. So where was that under? Is that under exchange? Core rookies. So there are three core rookie sets. This one, the core master rookie, Saquon Barkley does not come out until the 14th so what is that that's a week after release of the hall of fame edition next week um so we know we have 75 79 core rookie so you put in four uh 70 74 to get 175 to 79 and then here you put in crappy below rookies to get 70 to 74 so right here the 75 you need all the 75 to 79 overall core rookies and i'll show you i probably i don't know how many there are because it doesn't tell you yet. But I want to say I'm doing all right. So core rookies. Quality 70 to 75, 79. So we got 13 right now. And we have one du duplicate in Michael Gallup. But, or no, we have two different. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. We're good. We're good. We got, so we got 12 right now. Uh, we have two Taekwon Lewis's. Okay, so we have 11. 11? Yeah, we got 11 right now, which is, you know, not the greatest, but it's not terrible. I don't know how many they're going to be. I'll probably end up selling them because I don't really want the Saquon Barkley. So I'll probably end up selling all of them. And I have 25 of these that I'll probably sell as well. If I had to guess that Barkley is an 88, maybe 10 or, nah, that's a little pricey. 7K, a core rookie, 75 to 79, 7K, and then maybe three or two K for two K for these, maybe a little bit more, two and a half, two five for all of these. And then I would guess a little close to 1000 coins for all of these guys down here. That would be my guess. I'm not uh, exactly sure, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so that's going to do it guys uh, for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.